Hello folks, Boda Bob here. Good day. Hey, I saw a uh, video on the internet and I think I saw some advertisements for this. And so we're, I went ahead and uh, purchased one and thought I'd try it out on my Husqvarna 326 LS. The instructions tell us a whole bunch of different types of string trimmers. Echo, Home Light, Honda, Husqvarna. I got the Husqvarna and the 26 LS says reference LH. So you're going to have to look up what your um, reference number is for your string trimmer if you want to put one of these on your trimmer. So to remove the old head I'm going to grab the string trimmer here and the first thing I'm going to do is remove this guard and we might put that back on then there's a hole somewhere on your shaft it might be in here uh, it might be on this side it might be on that side but on mine it's right here and then you want to remove and this thing here has left hand to i'm sorry maybe right it's the opposite of what that would be yeah left hand threads you want to make sure you keep this dust cover it has the holes on there that allow you to uh hold the shaft while you're removing and installing the head then you're going to refer to the destructions these instructions are probably more important than most although somewhat difficult to follow I did refer to them and then you're going to find the adapter that works for your machine I had to use this black one the uh, the gold insert was the correct model for my machine and I put it so that the there's a smooth side and there's a side that has slots in it one size one side is 38 millimeters the other side is 20 millimeters I needed 20 millimeter size 20 millimeters is about three quarters of an inch 25 millimeters is an inch and then the hard part here is to put it on you got to loosen it so to tighten it you loosen it and you're going to just spin that on you're going to use your uh, ice pick nail uh, scratch all whatever you're using to tighten the head I think hand tight is enough. No need to break out anything else. And that's it. It's ready to go. I'm going to put that um, guard back on and we'll give it a test and see how easy it feeds. And then to load the string, there's a, an arrow type um, cutout. See that? This arrow, you want that pointing at the hole and it'll correspond to both sides. Have that arrow pointing at the hole. Okay, so when I, if it doesn't go through the one side, put it in the other side and give that a shot. Um, not sure why that happened. Okay, once you have equal amounts on both sides, then all you have to do is turn the piece of plastic that has the arrows on them. 
keep your head still that way the line doesn't get twisted and just turn that top I might have put a little bit more than 20 feet there so I'll just go ahead and trim that back So I cut that back to an inch on each side. What I found out is that it's best to bump the head while it's spinning at revolutions and that'll feed the um, string a little easier. So if you have any comments about this, any experience with the speed feed, please put a comment down below. Tell me what you think. With that being said, before I sneeze, this is Bo to Bob saying have a great day, and I'm out of here.